I became interested in working in the biology of ageing around the age of 30. By that time, I had had a, a number of years working in artificial intelligence research. But during that time, I had met and married a biologist who had a great deal of experience in genetics, especially, and who just accidentally taught me a lot of biology. And eventually, it began to dawn on me that neither she nor the other biologists I was meeting seemed to have very much interest in ageing, which was nonsensical to me. It seemed perfectly clear to me that biologists should be regarding ageing as the major unsolved problem in their field, and lots and lots of them should be working on trying to actually do something about it. Uh, But hardly anybody was. And so eventually I decided that that was an even more important area for me to be working in than artificial intelligence, and so I switched fields. I think the main part of my education that really let me let me excel later in life was the very first part. In my early years, my mother, who was an artist by training and by vocation, and a photographer and you know, painted and did um, drawings and so on, she took a lot of trouble to emphasise the science and mathematics aspects of my education because she felt that I would... Um, absorb all of the more artistic aspects just sort of automatically. She was completely wrong, and I absolutely, had absolutely no artistic talent whatsoever, uh, but um, certainly her efforts to get me interested in science and in maths and to, you know, to, to enjoy learning those things bore fruit very well indeed, so I always did very well in school after that.